welcome back to the channel. So in this video, we're going to be going over the body's most essential building blocks, which are our epithelial cells. Now these cells, they don't just sit around. They have a variety of functions and they're very important for keeping us healthy from the inside out. Epithelial cells, they are also known as epitheliocytes. They cover the surface of our body, they line our organs, and they form a protective barrier that is really strong. They protect, they absorb, and they secrete. So to break down the word, epi means upon and site means cell. So epithelial site literally means a cell upon something, and that is exactly what they do. So let's take a look at all of their common features. So epithelial sites, they are avascular, and what this means is that they don't have any blood vessels of their own. They form tight junctions, which are going to prevent fluid leaks, and they're going to also block pathogens from entering. And most importantly, they regenerate very quickly in order to keep things running smoothly. There are other commonalities, but these are the big ones. So we have different types of epithelial sites, and the way that we classify them can be based on shape or stratification. And stratification is just cell layering. So when we're going to classify them by shape, we have squamous. And squamous cells, they are these thin and flat cells. They are perfect for diffusion, and we can really find them in our lungs and blood vessels. We have cuboidal cells, and they kind of look like little boxes. They're really good for handling secretion and absorption, and we're going to find them a lot in kidney tubules and glands. And then we have columnar cells. These are tall, column-like cells. Some of them have cilia or microvilli, which are really important for moving substances or absorbing nutrients. We find them in our digestive tract and respiratory system. But it doesn't stop there because we can also classify epithelial cells by the way that they're layered. So when we have a simple one, we're talking about a singular layer of cells, and they're really good for absorption or diffusion. When we're talking about stratified cells, we're looking at multiple layers, and they're built for protection. When we have pseudostratified cells, it means that it looks layered, but every single cell is going to touch the basement membrane. And we find pseudostratified cells in places like the trachea. And then we have transitional cells. They are stretchy, they are flexible, and they are perfect for areas kind of like the urinary bladder. So whether it's protecting your skin, helping you breathe, or filtering your blood, our epithelial cells, they're always on the job. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that bell so that you don't miss more content. If you have any other questions, drop them in the comments down below. See you next time.